I am a primarily I'm an historic figurative artist, primarily. But I think of all my work as portraits, you know. I think of the seascapes as portraits of the sea. I have a to-do list of things I want to paint, you know, and I will never be able to paint all the paintings that I want to paint, you know, um, unless maybe I get an assistant. <laughs> but, I, you know, which is great. It's a great thing to know that I'm not going to run out of of uh, things that I need to paint. I have a colour scheme that is, you know, some of them is my signature colours and I want to use them more, you know. So that's really where it's going. You know, I, I want to limit my colour palette this year and I want to raise the bar a bit for myself, you know, and I want to include uh, the figure more this year. I really do. Uh, I don't know if I'm slightly schizophrenic or it's, um, you know, it's my male, female side of me, whatever it is, but I have to paint figuratively and realistically and that allows me, once I've done that, I can then blend into painting pure abstract paintings, but I can't paint the abstract paintings without painting figuratively first. I have to have, you know, honed in colour and the light and just, you know, to become very disciplined for abstract paintings to be, to be real to me and, you know, to be to have a strength about them. They will last for a certain amount of time and then I have to go back to painting figuratively. Or, or the abstracts just look awful. You know, they go flat, they don't, there's no substance to them. You know? So the substance that, that's in the abstracts is almost like the essence of my figurative work. You know?